Hello Toots, welcome to TechTech.com. We are diving through ER model and now in this lecture we will understand relationship constraints. Okay, So let's start with understanding the term itself. What is relationship constraint? As name suggests, constraint is a <coughs> limitation or restriction, right? So relationship constraints means the limitation or the limitation or the restriction superimposed over a relationship or imposed over a relationship is relationship constraints right so if you consider you may have different scenarios in your given universe of discourse where relationship constraints will be there for example I'll take a simple example like in our empty courses what we uh, <coughs> get is like this is entity student student okay and everyone gets a project guide okay so this is another entity that is guide okay so for Amtech project you will have a guide okay so this is relationship like uh, student or guide guides student okay so this is the direction of relationship okay so guide guides student now in this relationship is it like a student can be guided by multiple guides or a guide guides multiple students these kind of things can be there depending upon the situation but in general what happens one student get allotted a special guide or only one guide for their MTech project okay but a guide will have two three students to guide okay so the guide will have two three students to guide okay so the relationship will be here like one guy guides multiple student okay one is to n so this is the kind of limitation or the restriction we impose over a relationship depending upon the scenario given project or given requirement okay so this is called relationship constraint or <coughs> we have various kind of relationship constraints okay so the two main types are the first one is cardinality ratio cardinality ratio okay and the second one is participation constraint okay so mainly these two types of relationship constraints we have in ER model so we will study it one by one let's start with cardinality ratio okay or uh, for this lecture let's uh, let's uh, stop it here in the next lecture we will study dedicated dedicatedly cardinality ratio and then in the another lecture we will go through the participation constraints so see you in the next lecture thank you